Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got a haul to share with you. All of these items were purchased in the month of April. So first of all I made an order from Little Things from Lucy's Cards and I got some of these sparkly um, shaker selections. These are all in shades of purple. I absolutely love purple. So, um, and these are just really, really beautiful. So from two of the newer release I got the Sugar Plum which is more of a, a kind of bluey side of purple I suppose just really really pretty and this one here which is the heather which is more of a pinky kind of shade of purple really really pretty and then I also got the delphinium which is kind of a mixture of um, some kind of bluey shades of purple and some other purple I suppose just really really pretty and then next up I made an order from Creator Smile and if you've ever ordered some from them before you know that it comes nicely um, wrapped and you usually get a free um, little gift as well which is quite nice. So I got the mini thanks stamp set. I really love the font on this thanks die um, stamp here. I do apologise. Stamp. And then I really love these ones as well the um, mix and match sentiments and I do like the font on those as well. So really nice that you can as I said mix and match. And then I got the dies as well that um, kind of coordinate. So again really love the font on this and then this one is a solid image and this one is an outline so you could add the outline on top of the solid which is really nice so like if you want to do that in black or something and then do that in a different color and um, but obviously you can use them separately as well so just thought they would be really nice to use and then I made a couple of orders from Seven Hills Crafts. First of all, I got a few um, items from the newer My Favourite Things release. This is the Build a Ball Bouquets stamp set. Really, really pretty. I thought it was quite nice and modern and whimsical um, and definitely can be used for loads of different occasions. So I got that and also I got the die set as well. And this is the stitched strip dies. I just thought they'd be really nice to use on the back, uh, like on... Um, a card base um so like as a background type thing i just really liked how they looked on some of the design team cards and then you also get some stars some circles and some hearts which is really cute next up from w plus nine well, this is from seven hills crafts but a w plus nine stamp set um this is the beautiful bouquets dahlias stamp set i really loved coloring in the ranunculus um, and I will have a link somewhere up here in case you wanted to go and have a look at that on my blog if you haven't seen it. I did some water colouring on that one and I really enjoyed colouring it in so I thought I would go ahead and get the dahlias as well. And I really love the kind of sketched look um, of these. Um, just really, really pretty and you get some um, lovely sentiments as well. And then next up I got the Mama Elephant Organic Bloom stamp set. I'm obviously on a bit of a floral kick at the moment. This image was quite a lot bigger than I expected actually, but really, really nice and would be really lovely to colour. And I love all of these kind of block sentiments as well. And then I got the Bear Hugs stamp set from Reverse Confetti. Again, absolutely adorable. Really, really cute. Love these little koala bears. And again, can be used for loads of different occasions. I love all the different sentiments. Um, really, really looking forward to using that. And then last but not least, I've got a couple of the packs of the Alter New Inks. I'd wanted them for a little while and I didn't really have any space to put them in my craft room to be honest with you. Um, I've kind of rearranged some stuff and I've now got a little bit more space for them. So this is the shades of, no sorry, Glacier Caves this one, um, which is in shades of blue. Really nice to use for kind of like, um, their, especially their floral images that you kind of build up the the stamps with them so you get kind of like darker colours as you go along. I just thought they'd be really useful to use with those and it kind of takes out the problem of coordinating although I do have quite a lot of dye inks already. And this is the Shades of Purple um, set. I really love purple colours and there's not that many companies that do a lot of Shades of Purple so I um, wanted to get hold of that and I would like to get hold of the greens as well which would be really good for kind of le leafy images. So that's my haul for the month of April. I will have links to everything in the description bar on YouTube and also on my blog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.